showing you one of the most exciting DIYs I have ever done or we have ever done I'm not gonna take credit for this on my own because it was a wee thing I am so 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 happy with this I kind of wanted to make like an oval shaped table and I wanted it to be um, well to fit six chairs as we already have six chairs that's what I wanted and so what I decided to do was I went on Facebook on a hunt and I found a conference table yeah a conference table and the measurements were perfect it cost me something like what how much did it cost already thirty dollars forty dollars something like that and then we also found the base on facebook but i'll kind of give you ideas if you wanted to make something similar to this how you can do the base with that if you can't find my own and we created this absolutely gorgeous table i will put on the side of me right here some of the some of like my inspiration ones and how much they cost for the, we did this one for the fraction of that price and I am absolutely loving this table. This table didn't cost us $200, it didn't. Um, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I will carry this table with me every home we move to. Like, I just I love it. I will find space for it anywhere we go. But it is one of my favorite, favorite things we've ever built and I absolutely, absolutely love it okay so let me show you the bits that we have to work with um and then we'll go from there so these are the two pieces that i got this base the height is 28 inches and then for the top that i am using the conference table top that i got it is the is 71 inches uh, long and the width is 35 inches when i went online and i was looking at dining table that will sit six this kind of fit with the measurements that i saw online this is how i picked the conference table that i got and because the base that i found was already meant for a dining table it was perfectly fine with the height the height was already perfectly fine the way it was so i have already cleaned this and dry it left it out in the sun to dry for a while the first job that we're going to do is sand it i want to sand it just so that i'm just lightly sanding it so that it would take paint that's really all i'm doing getting rid of all that glossy shine on it as you can see at the back of this here and then as, what we decided to do also is that we needed to get the base to fit on this so we've put the base on it measured it and we're just kind of drilling the holes where the screws for the base are going to go once everything is done and then we fill in all the other holes that this one had and we're going to sand it as well so this is what the base looks like um it's really what it was um also for a dining table that had glass at the top i think the guy said the glass broke so he didn't have any use for this anymore so i'm doing the exact same thing which is sanding this one as well just to make sure that it will be easy to have paint stick on it i got this off of amazon this is what we're going to be using to do the fluting with um it is super i think for me i find that this is way 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 cheaper to buy this off of amazon i'll link in the description bar below they have numerous sizes so you can pick whatever size you want um and i got a size that was slightly the size that we got i can't quite remember it but it was longer than what i needed so we needed to cut everything um to size so it will fit the base of our table these are all our cut pieces um it didn't take that long to cut this actually it was super easy to cut and i was just using my uh, mitre box and a saw and then i to make the work go really quickly i put a bit of um paint uh, not paint uh glue wood glue in a in a container and i'm just using a brush this is the wood glue that i am using i'm just using a brush to kind of just go over so i can do three or four at a time um this was gonna make it a little less time consuming um but we're also using a nail gun um to um, attach them to the um to the base so we're using a nail gun to do that it was i i didn't i didn't you could also just use glue and it'll be fine and then hold it together but because it's a, it's this because it's a circle 
um, I didn't want it round. I didn't, you have to do one side and then wait and then do the other side. I just wanted it all done. I'm that impatient. But I think also having a nail gun to secure it also helps because it makes it a lot more steadier. So I'm um, we putting it down with glue and then using a nail gun to kind of just secure it. After it was all done, we put weights on it. This really wasn't needed, but I just wanted to make sure that this was stuck on as well as I could get it to stay on there because I didn't use that many nail gun. Once for the following day, I took it outside and I sanded it down um, just to take get rid of all the splints if there was any. There wasn't any at all. And then to get rid of the glue where it seeped and I didn't clean it. I'm also using um, just a... a sandpaper with my own with like without the base and just going in between the crevices in the bits that i can still find glue and just making sure that i get rid of all of that Great, sanding all done and I am going over it with a Zenza primer. So I'm doing one coat of primer and then I'm going to do two coats of paint. And because of the way the table is going to sit, you can't avoid painting. You have to paint both sides. So I did the base first. So the bottom bit of the, the this tabletop, I did the bottom bit first, let it dry and then I turned it over and then I did the other side and I did then I spray painted these as well because this was just plain wood so I just wanted to just prime it just to make sure that my paint will also adhere to it. As always, I am using whatever paint that I had at home. Um, I have quite a few different variations of black. I did like this one. I think this was streak on black, I think. And that's what I used to spray the table with. Um, and I get, like I said, I'm going to do two coats of this on the base. So both sides of the top and then on the bases, of course. This is what it's all looking like after it's been painted. Ignore the other little table that you can see in the corner. I'm going to share that with you guys really soon. Um, yeah, so it's looking really gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I absolutely love it. At this point, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to put it together. And then the next day, I just added Veritain. And for this table, I decided to go with a satin coat of Veritain. I did two coats of that, left it to dry again another night. Um, and then this was like the third day that we had to put it together so i brought it inside turned it upside down put the legs on it and i was i was perfectly happy it looked absolutely beautiful and i love 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 how it looks all we have to do now is just to attach the screws to the holes that we had created before um and then that will be it done and this is what the table looks like i am so so in love with this uh, a conference tabletop and legs from from facebook the legs were 30 dollars. the conference table top was 20 so the conference table was 20 so that's 50 dollars. the fluting cost me about 70 no 80 dollars. so that's 100 um and paint was what i already had at home but if you want to add that maybe another 20 bucks so this was like 120 bucks worth of work and the table looks so so good Thank you all so so much for watching i really hope that when i show you these upcycle videos 
that it inspires you to try it's not that tricky honestly most of them are not it inspires you to try and get things off of Facebook get things off of your thrift store and make them look beautiful for your home you don't have to spend obscene amount of money just to get a beautiful space and, uh, and I hope that you know something like this dining table is an example of that I mean they go up on two thousand dollars but we kind of got this for less than 200 that's like 10 percent if that of no not even 10 percent of the price so i really really would encourage you to upcycle um yes so upcycle 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 <laughs> i will see you in the next one guys bye <laughs>